everybody, Wolfpack345 here, and welcome back to U-Boat. It's been about a month since I've made a U-Boat video, but in light of a recent patch for U-Boat, I figured I'd hop back into the game and give it another spin. Uh, there was a literal boatload of fixes with this new patch, B124, that was released at the beginning of this month, so it's the fourth as of recording this. So it dropped def not too long ago at all. And it adds a lot of AI improvements and just general fixes overall. And as you can see, we are continuing the same playthrough. I do have uh, the Biscay Cross up there. And I also have a few other little gadgets that I'll show you guys that I have upgraded on my boat. I'm sure a lot of you have seen other videos on this game. And, you know, you can upgrade your boat and get various different systems and uh, different types of equipment as you progress throughout the war. It's currently June 26, 1941. So let's go ahead and see here. So the only things I've actually updated, I do have the Biscay Cross, or Metox, which is the radio direction finder. And I also upgraded our hydrophone, so we have the uh, higher, the KGB, KDB, something like that. I don't remember the exact acronym it escapes my mind at the moment but that's really all the crew's all hunky-dory they have added a vacation system so you actually can go on leave when you're in port so that progresses the uh, time a little further as well and in a previous patch they have overhauled the whole time compression system and it works much better now I will say so overall the devs have been supporting the game and releasing very big patches and effort to uh, improve it, which is what you would expect when buying into an early access game. Alright, with all that out of the way, I'm out of breath, oh my goodness. We'll go ahead and head to the map. As you can see, we have our radar detector here, uh, which goes out in a pretty big ring around us. The range is... See, this is, this is one problem I do have with this game. So it shows our sight. Here, I, I just don't understand the sight system. So this... We can only see five kilometers out, and our radar detector only goes to about 20. Um, that really makes no sense to me. I feel like you would be able to see much further out, but then again, whenever we see smoke, it kind of pops up over here, and they're like, smoke on the horizon in this area. It's just the way it's represented on the map. Uh, I, it's one thing I don't like, <laughs> but that's just nitpicking. Anyway, so we're going to head up to uh, the Western Approaches area. I do want to get this little, I guess, fast travel point would be a good way to call it, this little destination. And then we're going to proceed to our patrol grid, which is BD. So pretty much in the mid-Atlantic. Hopefully we can find a nice juicy convoy to engage. And we'll go ahead and use some time compression here. Uh, one thing I've also noticed is the radar director or detector does require you have someone on the hydrophone, operate, uh, hydrophone station. Which, that doesn't make very much sense to me either. At last, it is just a video game. And it is kind of fun. I have all of these random little markings. Okay, we have an unknown transmission here. Uh, uh, where is that? Let's see. Let's decode this little guy. Whoop. All right, we got a new message. Let's see. One of our ships has gone missing. Its last coordinates are 40 degrees north, 10 degrees west. So it is... Oh, chimney. So, okay. I guess you do see things a little farther out. It's just... I'm sure this is just a range uh, you can identify the targets at. Let's go ahead and send that contact report. And we already have someone... Why the hell are you on the hydrophones? Get on the conning tower, por favor. And we're going to maneuver towards our target here, chimney smoke. We'll go ahead and head full. We'll get stand up, stand up. Felix. Go ahead and get on the diesels. Let's get a see. And when I take him off the hydrophones, it, the radar detector goes away. So I feel like that should be a job for the radio men. Anywho, we will close in here and detection. So it's just a lone freighter. Hello, little guy. Well, this might be a good target for our deck gun, I suppose. Let's go ahead and go ahead full, and let's get a couple more guys in the electrics room, or diesel room, and now we can go flank. And we're just going to pour on the coals here, and head towards our target. As you can see, I adjusted our deck gun, so it's angled up slightly. Very, 
<laughs> oh my god, dying. Very nice looking, very cinematic. And we're going to head towards this freighter. Hopefully no uh, Tommy aircraft come barreling out of the sky and, well, depth charge us or anything like that. We can go ahead and use some time compression. As you can see, we just bloop, zip across the map now. I would prefer more options, though, instead of times one to times five for this fast travel. Uh, but anyway, what's this? Visibility? Yeah, we, we're probably detected. Hopefully this guy does not have, uh, not have guns. Doesn't look like it. He is indeed not shooting at us, so we'll just go ahead and maneuver into a suitable position for a deck gun attack. And you, sir, you're going to man the 88 with and get two guys with you. All right, and we are running alongside it. I'll head slow, and I'll get on that deck gun. Manual mode, please. And we'll just swing it over and start shelling it and I missed the first shot how about that typical there we go good hit right in the uh, towers there but I do want to try to get waterline hits as far as I know there's no optics for the deck gun even though I can see them there <laughs> I guess they are not usable and I miss once again well, this is already quite embarrassing. If we can start a fire, I know fires do do damage over time in this game, which is actually rather nice. I think that was a waterline hit. I could be mistaken, though. And it is, certainly is British, I can tell from the flags. I guess it's a good thing we identified it after we're shelling it, but I mean, if we did see it was a neutral target, we could have always stopped and, uh, like, sorry. Like that will fix the situation. <laughs> oh well. Good thing it's not. We don't have to worry about it. And we're already down to 29 rounds. Oh my goodness. This is actually rather embarrassing. I'm so sorry. You guys have to watch this. Here we go. I guess I'll just kind of aim for the hole. Uh, getting water. Oh, there we go. We started to fire. I will say, the graphics in this game are simply stunning. The fire effects and the glow over there, that's really nice looking. That is one thing I will never insult this game about. The graphics are simply great. You know what? I'll stop. We'll use a torpedo. Go ahead and calculate a torpedo course. It's already at 93%. We'll just sit here and finish her off. She's dead in the water. It should be a fairly easy shot. And I would like you to warm up torpedo please uh warm up actually tube one please and you have cr two crewmen there with you so hopefully he will do this rather quickly you can zoom in and watch him get the torpedo ready for launch you better hurry my friend i don't have all day i don't want this ship to go under before we get the pop of fish into her uh and i'll use some time compression all right, Leo. Okay, you know what, Leo? We're just gonna take the risk of duds because I'm, I don't have all day here. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Oh, it looks like some of the torpedoes are already ready to go. So let's go ahead and flood tube two. There we go. Had a misclick there. Uh, we have a 98% chance of obliterating the ship and sending her down to Davy Jones's locker. So I will take those odds. Fire tube two. And that was an electric torpedo, so they have absolutely zero idea that this bad boy's coming for them. Let's see. There's no way. Oh, it looks like they're actually abandoning ship here. They're on the little life rocks. Oh my goodness. Motor away. Get away faster. Oh, this is not going to end well for them if they're that close to it. I would start. There we go. I would not want to be them in the water right now. Well, I think that's put her under. And look, there's little trucks on board that we're sending down as well. Really hurting the war effort here. And the crew is just sitting in the water. Well, that's nice. And uh, Wilhelm Wolf says it's a hit. Great. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, you can get off the deck gun. Get, go home. Go to bed. 
please. <laughs> I don't want him shooting at the life rafts like he did in our previous U-boat uh, video. Oh, what did I just do? I just hit a button. I'm not sure what some of the key mines do. And whoa, the ship is already gone. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, let's come on. Let's go ahead and use some time compression to get nice and close to these little guys. I can't see anything. Looks like we're just kind of sailing around them. These low light conditions are actually quite difficult to see. Maybe there is nothing you can really do with them. I thought you could throw them bread or something like that, but oh, anyway. Let's go ahead and continue onward and get the heck out of here. Maybe we'll find a convoy next. Okay, so we have another vessel sighted. Uh, let's actually turn this way and just do south. It looks like it's heading east, really, more or less. And we're going to try manual targeting one more time here. So we will close in on the target and we'll go ahead and prepare to go down to periscope depth. And our deck gun is... That bothers me, actually, quite a lot. Kohler, you lazy sack of potatoes. We'll go with a PG word here. <laughs> uh, he couldn't train the gun. Oh god, that is irritating. I do not like that. <clears throat> I'm gonna... As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take control of you. And we're gonna go up there right now. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, I don't know what's happening with my throat. And all of a sudden, once I decide to make a video, that's when my voice decides to uh, act up and cause some issues. Anyway, let's climb up here. Let's go down. Now, I do want to try to play this game completely in first person. I do think that would be my preferred, personally, I, I my preferred way of playing this game. However, the first person controls, I feel, leave quite a lot to be desired, so... Maybe I will try that actually for the next video. If any of you have played in the first person mode and know how it really works, how it feels, uh, let me know. But as of now, I feel like it kind of needs some work. Also, why is everyone so short? I guess we can stand up here and have a pretty good perch, but even then, I feel like uh, the scaling's a little off here. Alright, anyway, let's get out of that. And see. Oh, we have a convoy. We have a convoy. Ooh, that's a fairly large vessel. Actually, that might be the same type of ship we just obliterated, that Empire-type freighter. And this is just some rinky-dink little, little freighter. Looks like no escorts as of now. We'll go ahead and close just a smidge more before we go down to periscope depth. Let's go ahead and use some time compression. Actually, yep, now we are going to go down to periscope depth. Now, please. And we're going to get all of our stations set up. Newman. You get your, you get onto the hydrophones. Okay, don't need you there. We'll get Graf onto the attack periscope, please. Loris, yeah, depth controls. That's fine. That actually works rather well. And let's see, West, go ahead and improve depth keeping, so that way our scope doesn't. Uh, constantly bob up and down in the waves. We want to keep it fairly level there. Loris, yeah, go ahead and work on the torpedoes. That works fine. Yeah, what do we want this this goober to be doing? Cooler. Uh, uh, go ahead and I don't know, man. What do you, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? I guess you can just sit there and look pretty. I have no need for you. Let's get everyone assigned here, and we are now beneath the waves. How perfect. Let's go ahead and l slow down just a smidge. Perfect. Wow, the water actually looks really good. Very Das Boat like. I like it. Love it. Uh, cool air. Let's go ahead and switch our lights to blue. Let's see. Yeah, switch our. Oh, our discipline is. <laughs> Not very good right here. Uh, uh, I have been neglecting that just a little bit, huh? Oopsies. Well, maybe switching the lights will help a bit. Uh, 
do, do, do too much work from officers is really what's uh, putting them in. Well, you know what, pals? You're just going to have to put up with it. Hopefully we can sink these ships before... Here, okay, you know what? Capitan? We'll take you yeah, off, so that way they stop complaining so much. Yeah, I didn't realize... There we go, now it's just slightly diminishing. Fully depleted in 30 minutes. I wonder if switching to red yeah, light would make them feel a little better. Let's try that. These guys do realize they signed up really to, to work, right? Okay, that definitely helped. The red light did help. Which is fine, I do like the red light. Okay, let's go ahead and take a take a little peek here. Oh boy. We're gonna have to probably get a little closer. Oh no. I tried to zoom in on the periscope. Um Yeah, I ain't seeing I ain't seeing much here. Uh yeah, I am not seeing the enemy ships here. Probably still kind of far out though. So we'll go ahead and wait for them. Let's do some time compression. Let's go a little faster. Close the gap. And they should be getting within range. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and get on. It looks like they're bearing. Uh, get on here, manual. Why are you ringing that bell? I did not authorize that. Okay, so you can right click to cycle through all of the zoom settings. It's a, which is actually quite helpful. There they go, zero four zero thereabouts. Can we raise our scope anymore? Negative. Let's actually. Okay, now that. Now that everyone's. Now that we're actually in a combat scenario, I'm gonna work you guys, and I'm not. I'm gonna have no remorse. I will captain with an iron fist now. Uh, go ahead. Oh, are all of my torpedoes ready, pal? Okay, they all are. Okay, I think we're okay then. Alright, let's go ahead and commence this. Manual mode. God, I wish this was, this whole periscope view was bigger. It's not like you're actually looking through a peephole when you put your eye up to it, but whatever. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and raise our scope all the way. Just so I can get a nice picture. Now, which one do I want to go through? I think I might actually go for this target here. Let's go ahead and lock onto him. Let's see, identification book, we'll bring that up. Empire Bell, that actually might be it. <laughs> we'll go ahead and plug that in now. Similar to Empire Bell, let's just go ahead and cycle through all these just to see. Empire Tower, I guess that could be it as well. Um, definitely not a U-boat. Uh, none of these. Okay. So we only really have two options. Wow. Okay. We'll just go with the Empire Bell. Yeah, it looks like the funnel configuration is correct. Alright, so that's what we will go with. Stadimir. Uh, oh, Q&E. See here and set. Apparently he's two kilometers out. All right, and we'll start speeding the ship out. Go ahead and start now. I'll take a drink as we wait for this nice juicy target to pass our reticle. How about that? I am not a fan of that sound effect though. <laughs> I gotta say how it fades off. It looks like they have too short of a sound effect for this. 
Anywho, I don't see very many people uh, do this in the game though. Do the actual whole manual targeting shebang, mostly because it is a little tedious. Let's see and stop. Set six knots. That's his speed. All right, and I guess we have angle on bow. Uh, it's probably at like a, a forty degree angle. Um, probably a little more. Probably around sixty. Sure. Set. And it says that's a hundred percent. I think it's lying to us. But any in any case, let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and flood two, one and two, or two and three, excuse me. Flood the tube. There we go. Hopefully, uh, I'm not a massive embarrassment here. I'm actually going to. Wait, oh, it's just a smidge. Okay, that's much better. Well, let's go ahead and head back here. I do want to somewhat guarantee a hit and shoot when the ship is at an optimal location. We are fairly close, but okay, let's do this here. Um, let's do another range reading. Do, 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 and wait for the little waves to pass over our scope. One kilometer, really? He's that far? Okay, well that works. I, I, I figured he'd be a little, well speed should be good. And AOB, definitely a little better. We'll go with like 80 degrees. Set, tube one, tube, oh, I did not mean to do that. That's annoying. Wait for it to flood and we'll fire. Three. Alright. Fire. Tube three. Fire. 40 seconds of impact. Okay. Here we go. Moment of truth. Do I, can I even see my torpedo wake? Yeah. They are, he was way closer than a kilometer, but we're definitely going to get a hit. As long as they're not duds. Woo! That was satisfying, actually. Got two of them. <laughs> awesome. She is probably going down. Yeah, I don't think she's going to be able to survive that. Hey, that was actually quite satisfying, I gotta say, to actually hit a ship using the manual targeting in this game. I'm rather happy with that. Um, what the hell is that, though? That is that the, supposed to be the sun, or is that like a searchlight? I guess that's the sun. That doesn't look right. <laughs> Essentially. All right, well, let's go ahead and I suppose we can maneuver around here. Uh, we have a new contact somewhere. I don't know where. Um, we won't con We won't worry about it. You know me. And yeah, that ship is slipping beneath the waves. We got a new message, apparently, and that's exciting. I wonder if we can... Uh, Water's so murky. I was hoping we could would be able to see the uh, hull of the ship going down from this view. That'd be pretty cool. Well, let's go ahead and head back onto here and set up our next torpedoes for the next freighter. Maybe we can get two here. All right, lock on target. Oh, wow, it looks like she is just booking it now. <laughs> Can't say I blame her. Uh, let's go ahead and see what kind of vessel this might be. I like how that rhymes. We'll go with that. Empire Tower. That sounds a okay with me. Uh, range here. Let's go ahead and get that set. 850 meters. Sounds good. Speed. Oh, we have to redo the speed altogether. Start. And let's go ahead and slow down, please. And it didn't keep going. Ah, don't like that. Don't like that. All right, let's go ahead and start again. Wasting time here. That's fine. All right, tube two is already loaded up. All right, this should be fairly easy. 850. We'll definitely have to adjust this. 
So I think uh, it does kind of tell you. It does really help you out. So it says the course is probably uh, not so good, not so hot. I think that's what that means. But 850 meters is within the margin of error. That's that's how I am digesting this little color scaling here, though. And I, that could be totally wrong. It could not matter at all. Maybe it just means the information is old. That is possible as well. But I'm not going to dig too deep into it. We will adjust the AOB here. Okay, and raise our scope a little bit. That might help out. And our the stern is just about to pass this vertical line here. And any second now, stop. Set four knots. Wow. Okay. Uh, interesting. I guess we did hit the other ship in the bow by a considerable. Uh, we we hit pretty far in the bow, so maybe maybe that is. AOB is damn near ninety. Let's go ahead and do yeah eighty eight sure. All right, let's go ahead and open up Z torpedoes. Love Ford tube one and tube two. And we'll go ahead and shoot two more and hopefully finish off this last ship in this combo. All right, tube one, fire. Tube two, fire. Forty seconds to impact, really? Again? I feel like it's much closer than that. Look, our torpedo is already about to. Uh, yep. <laughs> Goodness, she's definitely going down too. You would think once she saw her uh, companion get hit by two torpedoes and go down very quickly after, she would increase her speed a little bit, but I guess not. Looks like they were able to abandon ship, however, and she is going down beneath the waves. Wow, it's so dark down there. All right, well, that's another one that bites the dust. And the U-96 will slowly slip away. Let's go ahead and drop down to about 50 meters now, just in case any pesky destroyers are in the area. All right, and you can go ahead and get off the periscope. You're gonna stay on the hydrophone though, pal. Yeah. All right. Well, that was a, another first look at U-Boat and a, a look at the actual manual targeting in this game. Uh, a successful look, <laughs> actually, believe it or not. So I hope you guys like this. I figured I'd do a U-Boat video every now and again. Uh, I do support the game and I do want it to uh, come out well. So I figure every time the devs release a fairly big patch like this, I'll go ahead and revisit the game. Uh, it'll probably be a while before I actually do a full-blown series on it, however, but I do plan. I do suspect that will happen one of these days. Anywho, thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you guys. What is wrong Happy with team. Felix over here? He's having a crisis. Oh, anyway, thank you all for watching. Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next video.